Today, authorities went digging for DNA in hopes of getting one step closer to closure. That DNA comes from a man buried long before he ever became a suspect in a murder dating back in the 1980s. Whitney Miller was there this morning in Huntsville as they dug up his remains. A clay covered bone in a white bucket may be the final missing piece in the puzzle surrounding the death of local real estate agent Virginia Freeman. Simply sampling some human tissue for the purpose of doing DNA. That sample comes from convicted murderer James Otto Earhart, who was executed in 1999. Wednesday, his body was exhumed so investigators can compare his DNA with DNA found under Freeman's fingernails. In this case, uh, the bones are in good shape, so there shouldn't be any problems. But this case has been nothing but a problem for investigators. It's one lead investigator, Kenny Elliott, and Texas Ranger Joshua Ray say they are happy to have solved. We've, we've put everything we got into this case. I mean, we have spent a lot of time traveling across the country, multiple different states, in hotel rooms late at night, going re-going through evidence that we've already gone through. He says the time and effort spent was worth it to bring closure for the Freeman family. Hopefully at some point it brings some type of finality, some type of closure for them, you know, but it, it takes time. I mean, no, nothing can replace her. And nothing can replace the exceptional role science played in solving this decades old case. At the time of this homicide, there was no such thing as DNA. It was it had not come about. Yeah. And now just how far DNA has come is just absolutely amazing. DNA is my very best friend. Now Freeman's case may just be the tip of the iceberg for cold cases across the country. Hey, this is proof that we're not done yet finding out what we can do with DNA and there's potential that we can solve so many other cold cases. In Huntsville, Whitney Miller, News 3. Earhart was executed for the murder of a nine-year-old Brian girl. His DNA was never collected when he was an inmate.